Hi, I'm Steve Berner, a uh, firefighter with Tiffin Fire Department and the mayor of the city of Tiffin. I'm Brad Hill, captain of the Tiffin Fire Department. Uh, we're here to talk about our ladder truck that we've ordered and now have taken delivery of from Rosenbauer. Uh, the town of Tiffin is growing so fast. Uh, we've come to a point where we needed a ladder truck. We have some multi-family buildings and some potentially some five-story buildings now being planned for the city of Tiffin. So the ladder truck was a necessity for our town. Uh, so we'll tell you a little bit about the truck. Sure. So this is a 101 foot smart aerial uh, by Rosenbauer. This is the commander chassis. Um, on the inside we have the speakeasy seating intercom system. It allows us to communicate effectively while just riding to a scene. In the middle we have a, a compartment for medical equipment. Quickly, uh, quickly get to the patient. Here's our pump panel. It's a Rosenbauer 2,000 gallon per minute pump. Uh, we've got a couple of crosslays up here. All of our hoses um, and at the pump panel are, are color coordinated. So yellow number two crosslay will be a yellow hose. Red number one crosslay will be a red hose. Compartment one, uh, just a smaller uh, compartment. But part of the smart aerial is that it's remote controlled. So we're able to sit you know, anywhere around 300 feet away from the actual truck and operate the ladder via remote control. We have outriggers, two on each side. This is, our, um, this is where the electrical distribution is. We have bottle storage on both sides of the truck. Four on both sides. Number three compartment again, just adjustable storage. And here's the ladder to get up to uh, the chair control up there, which is the master control for the ladder. Uh, that's where we will control it when we're not using the remote. And then the back compartment is where we've got the ladders that are required by NFPA that are required on a ladder truck. So we've got extension ladders, roof ladders, and then we've got some uh, poles for uh, pike poles for doing overhaul in a, in a building. Uh, so we've got hand tools that are right here as well. Yep. Uh, Over here yeah. is the control panel. So setting your front outriggers, your rear outriggers, and then the, the control panel. This is our hose bed uh, for our five inch hose. Uh, it's an easy load uh, with a switch here. So this whole bed will come out and down so it can be loaded right at chest or level for the firefighters to make it easier to load a hose. Outriggers, again, all the compartments have adjustable shelving. Uh, more air storage. And we're wired for 120 here, so if we have portable scene lights or whatever we need to plug in. So we've got the hose reel for our electric power so we can uh, plug in things from the generator and run uh, electric lights and power. On the very front, we have a front pre-connect. That should be a quick attack hose line. That concludes the walk around of ladder 155 for the Tiffin Fire Department. Again, it's a 101 foot smart aerial by Rosenbauer on the Commander chassis. And we're excited to put this truck to use.